Good morning. It's 11.36 a.m. right now. So I am finally decided to wake up early, at least today. I think tomorrow I'm probably gonna end up waking up at like 11 again and then start recording at like 1 p.m. But today we're gonna be recording the B-roll for this cube for the video. That's gonna be released sometime in the next week or so. So I guess let's get started then. I guess I might just start editing that video as well. I don't think it's gonna be really long, but I think what I'm gonna do is just get some some shots of like cube at various different angles and I guess various different camera movements. I know for a fact that I might not use all of that b-roll because sometimes I knew from the last review I literally did not use all the b-roll that I had and I think I ended up like using some stuff from the unboxing that I did while also just mainly using images of the prices of the versions of each cube and pretty much everything else so there is gonna be a high chance that I might not use all of that b-roll but I think it would be good anyway to have a lot more because then again if I do want to bring up this cube or something in another video about another cube then I guess I have that b-roll so I can use it if I actually want to or if I like need it or something so yeah so earlier literally right before I started recording this I ended up doing multiple solves today like three or something somehow I got a 48 second solve and I didn't record it <laughs> so this is gonna be interesting Thing on how I'm gonna do all these solves like imagine if I end up getting like a 44 second one like I got really lucky on that solve for some reason somehow I swear most of my personal bests have literally not been on camera let's actually get started with that I don't think I'm gonna need my why did I just do that why did I eject all drives okay I can't even eject the rest of them now that I have this monitor stand that I've been using for like several months now I can end up like putting my monitor all the way down like this and I've honestly used use that a lot when I actually do b-roll or even like thumbnails like it's actually been one of the things that I've been using for basically half a year now and actually finding it because I kind of like the background that I'm currently using right now it's been like really nice when I have it used as some sort of um, background for a cube and then I think sometimes also I can put up a video on both my monitor and my laptop it kind of has a really nice effect on it I'm too lazy to do that right now so I'm just gonna put this away so that I have a clear space let's get on to doing that I'm just gonna start a time-lapse <laughs> Okay, so we pretty much got the normal B-roll for this cube done. Now it's gonna be time to do a lot of solves and I think I'm just gonna do it the same way I actually did for my review video from last time where I'm just gonna mount my phone to the monitor and then I'm actually just gonna be looking at my laptop when I do need to scramble the cube and then I don't really need to pretty much use the monitor to look at it because if I actually do put the little tripod I have on there it does block the scrambles so having it on my laptop will actually make it a bit easier so I can actually see the full scramble plus I can actually get like a top-down view because I think it's probably a good place to show the entire solve if I just have it in a top-down view like how it is at some competitions that end up live streaming some solve so I'm gonna be doing that. I guess I'll do a time-lapse again for that one Okay, so we pretty much got the solves done There's actually one more type of b-roll that I'm actually gonna record right now And it's just the keep turning so I'm probably just gonna do three by three algorithms But I'm also gonna try with the parody algorithm as well the video for the thing in total was around like eight minutes so that was definitely interesting. I ended up getting like 250 something solves back to back. So that was interesting. Now I'm just gonna do some B-roll of the cube turning. I'm gonna actually use my microphone to record the sound of it so it doesn't sound so bad if I actually just use my phone normally. So let's actually go and do that. Okay, so I finally got that done. I ended up doing a timeless using my iPad, but I did it in a really unconventional way where I ended up putting it on the shelf, like right next to my table for some reason. So it's probably some dumb angle. You probably can't see much of me actually doing something. I guess it ended up working and now I'm about to save these audio files and then 
import everything onto the computer so I can actually edit. And then I guess I'm just gonna start the process of pretty much just doing the basic importing everything to Premiere and then maybe even do some of the rough cut. I don't know if I'm gonna do the rest of it on camera. I kind of do want to like, save some time by just not actually recording the editing process because I'm pretty sure you've seen a lot of that already on the last several videos that I've uploaded so don't know if I want to do that again unless I'm actually going to be explaining what I actually do when I do edit so yeah. Okay, so I think I pretty much got the basic edit done. I already pretty much have the whole thing all set up. I didn't really use all of the B-roll footage, so I probably recorded more than I was actually gonna use, but I think that's gonna be good as I said earlier. So I think we're pretty much good with that. I am gonna need to add a bunch of the images of the price of the cube and the two versions of it, but I think I'm just gonna do it off camera once I do edit so I can focus a bit more on editing than having to actually record. So I think I'm gonna end the video here Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye!